Hello, uh, my name is Mark Boyer, and this is an informative video on a brand new product that I call uh, Remarkable Bragg's Apple Cider Vinegar Tincture. Okay, quite impressive stuff. Okay, now I came across it uh, uh, somewhat by accident. Okay, and I checked into it, and basically it says there that vinegar. Uh, on green cannabis, uh, you know, like regular green cannabis, cannot transfer through acetate, which is the vinegar, you know, the, the chemical in vinegar. Okay. Bragg's apple cider vinegar is, it has a lot of what's called a mother, uh, ingredient. They call it a mother ingredient that's very good and it's totally organic. Now, bottom line is, uh, again, I used what Paul Hornby calls carboxylated cannabis, okay, or what I called Delta 11 carboxy, which is baked cannabis. Now, what is self-evident is that this baked cannabis that has an open carbon molecule attached to it does react with acetate vinegar the acid in vinegar okay that's self-evident and I, I've got great props on this okay because I'm about to do some processing now basically uh, I took a half a pound of pot okay and this is a big mason jar okay this is one of these big mason jars and I put a half a pound of carboxylated or Delta 11 cannabis that was all ground up in there and it took one and a half quarts of uh, Bragg's apple cider vinegar to bring up to that level. Okay. Now this here uh, at the be it takes a month. Okay. One yeah one low uh, okay one month for this here to become a thick like this okay at the beginning you have to push it in but that's total saturation you see where I hardly used and that's basically one and a half jars of Bragg's vinegar now after a month and a half after a month I'll strain it off and I end up with one just a bit over one jar like this of obviously something that is clearly a different color from this okay now this here is after one month of brewing in the vinegar okay where technically the top of the I really need a uh, one and a half quarts of Bragg's vinegar just to top off the amount of but or of carboxified pot I have in there now Here's what's real. Now, when I pour that off, there's a sediment layer on the bottom of this that's just like wine. I mean, it's exactly that same sediment layer, and that takes about another two weeks. So once you pour this off, you got to let it settle for a couple of weeks more, and it settles down to this cake that when you canter this off, it, it, it really doesn't move. That That is like a welded on cake, just like wine does, okay? Now, Here's where it gets interesting, okay? Uh, this here, bottle brand new of Bragg's, brand new, weighs 34 grams less than this bottle here that's been brewed, okay? Now, in terms of doing the math on the THC of the, the half pound in, that's about the cannabinoid count of what was in the pot that you would expect. You'd expect about 30, 32 grams more weight to, uh, of real active stuff in there. And this here weighs 34 grams more than this side by side weight, you know, weigh this one, weigh this one after, and it's 34 grams more. Now here's what's really impressive. Uh, I sent this to Paul Hornby to have tested, and he tells me there's no THC in this product at all. Okay, none whatsoever. Now, he's right. Okay, 
but there is 32 grams or 30 or 34 grams of cannabinols in here but what it's done is it's actually a brew where the pH of the pot is totally changed by the vinegar so it's a DN it's got it's got all those strike points of the curve but it's in a shadow spot over here and technically that's not a crime okay and uh, so basically this is uh, the brew of, of Bragg's vinegar okay now it really is neat okay and it, it doesn't get any, it, it's powerful stuff so basically you know in here there's a half a pound the, the, the benefit of a half a pound of pot and there really is 32 grams of cannabinoids in one liter of this vinegar yet you can't show it uh, because the chromatographic readout uh, has shifted okay and technically it's not a crime but it's incidental if they ever came to my house they'd find something <laughs> but now let's get back to this this here I offered it as a pump originally that you could dispense and put into food but it really didn't have that much impact and it was not the two primary uses of this are in the spray application okay the number one most controversial is as an aerosol spray for people with asthma and that's done this way you point you get 300 pumps to one of these bottles okay and that's two ounce bottle you get 300 of these pumps and literally it gives a uniform uh, one sixth of a dram per pump it, it, it's quite it, it's a calibrated pump now what you do there is you inhale exhale and inhale this through your lungs and I'll do it and I'll do it okay. <laughs> Now, I shot that to the back of my throat and it caused a gag sensation, okay? It'll do that every time. I've done this more than once, okay? Now, the gag sensation is automatic. It's a taste of vinegar in your mouth. It, you soon learn to really like it, okay? Now, what happens is, is the vinegar enters your lungs and it opens up the air cells and that vinegar is laced in THC. And the THC and vinegar is absorbed directly into your bloodstream through your lungs. So you're technically taking in unsmoked THC directly into your lungs. Uh, you get an immediate effect uh, from the uh, uh, acetic acid, which is it's like an alcohol buzz, but it's not. Okay, it's it, it, but there is. A euphoria from the vinegar now for people with asthma uh, that opens up the air cells and allows for real healthy breathing people with asthma can use this to replace their puffer okay puffers kill a lot of people what it does is when you take a puff to a too big a puff and it enters your, your left lung your left lung it can cause congenital heart failure by causing an influx of water into your heart and you die more people with asthma die with a puffer in their hand because of congenital heart failure this will never give you congenital heart failure in fact it gives you a nice mild stone okay four or five of these across an hour is a, a good solid euphoric experience it's a mild sedative effect and could be used as anyone who has a sleep disorder problem at night also the vinegar acts as it clears your nostrils and allow so basically it could be used for people who have uh, want sleep disorder because one maybe two of these inhales do the trick now the reality is is you know you've had a right hit when you get the cough and I'll do that again okay so you exhale point it directly at the back of your throat <coughs> and carry on inhaling after the cough that drives it into your lungs 
and you get an exceptionally nice immediate euphoria. Okay? Just like smoking a joint. Or, but different. Okay? And, uh, basically, uh, as for someone with asthma, uh, they will put away their puffer and this turns out to be a, a lifesaver. Okay? Plus, it clears your lungs better. And you get this nice stone effect from it. Now, the other applications for this have everything to do with going to Bragg's and looking up their first aid applications. There are so many first aid applications for Bragg's vinegar that it's, it's incredible. If you have a sunburn, spray this on your sunburn. It gets rid of the heat. Um, I had a, a good friend of mine with lymphoma with a gray texture over really, really graying out looking like his last days. I gave him one of these and I told him to once every three days give himself a spray it all over his body and to give a THC drink to his body and I told him go take a bath after that because of the vinegar smell and uh, uh, the next time I saw him he was uh, revitalized I mean it was quite an impression basically this gives your everything uh, where Bragg's can be used as a disinfectant for a cut for sunburns, for skin irritation, for eczema, for all these applications, uh, this here with pot infused in it is far better than just the brags. And basically, anyone can make this at home, uh, and it's pretty easy. It's a two-month process from start to end, where you really don't have a product to show for a couple of months, but. Uh, you know, this here uh, is uh, a half a pound soaking in one and a half quarts of Bragg's vinegar, which ends up giving me about three ounces more than one jar like this every time. I've done it four or five times. The numbers keep, keep coming out, and it's got this layer on the bottom that just stays, just like a wine would or any distilled vinegar does. Uh, this here is a pot-based vinegar, and uh, it's totally unique. Um, it's uh, well worth exploring. If you have asthma, uh, my, my thing is uh, uh, need greater than perceived risk, okay? And for an asthma sufferer, this is a need greater than any perceived risk of doing a puffer, okay? And for anyone with a skin cancer or a skin condition, uh, this offers relief. Now, for many skin conditions, spraying this vinegar on hurts. So it might not be good for your specific application. But there are so many good applications uh, for Bragg's vinegar, this Bra THC Bragg's vinegar. And basically, to find out where to get the best information, go to Bragg's website and look up all their first aid applications for their vinegar and they apply. So on this, uh, have a nice day and uh, enjoy.